Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be trying out something really cool called hydro dipping. Now you might have seen some videos on social media where people will dip car rims or helmets or other stuff into floating paint on the surface of water and it emerges with a lovely coat. Well, I'm gonna try something similar but with much more accessible materials, more like only spray paint and water to see if I can get some cool patterns painted on some random stuff I picked off a store. If gadget reviews, DIY projects and life hacks are your thing, then consider subscribing to my booth and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the action. To start with, I'm going to set up my paint bath in this 50 liter storage container. Before that, I'm going to put masking tapes on inside of the container a little above half the height. This is going to help me save the container from unwanted paint stains and you'll see how in a moment. Once ready, it is time to fill it with water. Now the process is really simple. I'm going to take the spray paint, actually two cans since I want a pattern rather than a linear coat. In this case, I'll be using the blue and yellow. I'll spray in the blue first until it makes like a small decent circle. Then I'm going to spray the yellow into the center of blue and you can see it will push the blue towards the sides. Now spray paint is oil based so it will float right on the surface of water. I'm going to repeat the process a couple of times until we have a nice ripple effect. The first thing I'll be painting is this pen. As you can see, I have masked off the sides, which I don't want to paint, and left the center part exposed. And to save my hands, I'm wearing gloves. Now I'm going to slowly dip the pen starting from one corner and lower it down slowly until it is completely submerged and coated in paint. Then I'll shake the water around it so the paint on the surface doesn't stick to the pen when I'm pulling it out. There you go. Not bad for a first attempt. I'm going to set this aside to dry and move to the next item. Next I have this iPhone 10 case. This was a transparent case and since I wanted the background to be white, I simply spray painted it white. You can even use a primer, but uh, since most spray paints include primer, I used white spray paint. I've taped off the inside portion, exposing only the back and sides. This time I'm going to go with the red and black and make sort of a different pattern and then try to aim the dip at the transition point of the two paints. And in goes the case. There we go. Look at that. Look at how cool the red and black looks on the white. Now you might notice some parts have a lighter shade of red than the other similarly with the black and that is because the paint doesn't settle evenly on the water surface. One way to slightly improve that would be to shake the cans really well cause we only have one go. Unlike spray paint you can't give it a second coat here. Next up I have these two flower pots or vases I guess. One has a really rough surface and the other one is extra smooth. I'm gonna see if I can turn them from boring white into something more colorful. For the first one I'm gonna go with red and yellow and this is the rough one. Since the vases are already white, the color should really stick out on them. There you go. Alright, on this one the paint stuck really well. And I'm going to set this aside to dry and now I'll go for the smooth one. All right. I kind of expected that for such smooth surfaces you usually do require a real primer even if you're spraying it directly let alone hydro dipping. Let me clean it up and try again. Once again you can see the paint simply would not stick to the surface of the pot and plus the shape is also not right and this method of coating doesn't really work well with complicated shapes like this one. I mean if it is just one surface you can just dip it straight in and you'll get the paint stuck to that but since this is like a whole cuboid and you have to turn around all the sides to get the paint stuck to it it just won't work properly and even the paint that is stuck you can see I can just simply brush it off with my finger now for the final item I have this toy jet I went ahead and removed all the decorative stickers it had and I've taped off the tires as well and for this one I'm gonna go with just blue and the clear coat I need the clear coat to create transparent layers in between the blue ripples to achieve that camouflage Air Force jet look with the blue paint.
For this one, I just need to paint the top part. So I'm going to dive in nose first and then go all the way in. All right, it had a lot of nooks and crannies and I was anticipating something would go wrong, but it turned out pretty fine. The top part is completely coated and the bottom is still white, mostly. Now you also have to make sure that you dip your item really quickly after you've sprayed your paint since the top surface of the paint which is exposed to air can dry out and, and won't stick to your object properly. It just becomes like a layer of plastic floating on water. All right, we got some really cool patterns, but they are still very wet and I need to give them a good couple of hours to dry. Oh, and uh, here is why I put the tape around the sides of the container earlier. After a good 22 hours, here is how they turned out. Now, since there was no primer involved, there is a chance that the paint might come off due to handling. You can even see some flaking has taken place on this wing here. For good measure, I'm going to apply a layer or two of clear coat to protect the paint and make sure it stays there and also give it some shine. Okay, so two clear coats and two hours have passed by and now I'm going to remove all the masking tape to see how our specimens turned out. There you go guys, that's how you can simply use some spray paints and water to get some really cool patterns on every object which you cannot do with just spray paints. It's probably not going to be as durable as the real stuff, but it is definitely a lot fun to try out as all you need is spray paint and water and some stuff to paint of course. Now this project was inspired by one of the videos from the King of Random. I saw it on his channel a couple of weeks ago and couldn't wait to give it a try. And I'm really surprised at how easy it can be. Do let me know in the comments below if you try it out and hit that like button below if you enjoyed it. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to my booth for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Instructables. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.